When I first became a youth pastor many years ago, I had the opportunity to attend Bill Hybels Church, and hopefully you took a look at who Bill Hybels was based on yesterday's message. For those of you who don't know, Bill Hybels is the pastor of Willow Creek in Chicago, Illinois, and it's one of the biggest churches in the nation. Did you know that in Acts, there was actually a day where 3,000 people came to know the Lord? So 3,000 people came to know the Lord. Just imagine how many thousands of people were there that day. And guess what? We get a glimpse of the first mega church. Now, recently I was also at a conference hosted by Craig Groeschel and Andy Stanley, once again pastors of mega churches. For some reason, when we look at a mega church, we kind of step back and say, they're not being personal enough, they're not being kind enough, they're not doing enough, they're doing too much, and we want to criticize it because they're not relating to people. And yet at the same time, what is it that they're doing that every church is doing? They're bringing hope to the world. They just happen to be reaching a lot more people at the same time. But rather than focus on criticizing other churches, why aren't we focusing more on the church that we are a part of, or the church that we could attend, or a church that we should be a part of? So what is it that is missing? Well, we're going to talk about that tomorrow, but for right now, let's get everything that we think about church, let's take everything that we may perceive about church, and let's put it aside, and let's focus on bringing that hope. So no matter how big your church is or how small your church is, know this, that you can bring hope to others through God's Word, through being relational, and through loving and caring for others. That's what brings hope.